Also new at 6, New Bedford has been chosen to be the base for a major offshore wind project. Highway to News reporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now live from New Bedford where the project was announced this afternoon. Sheena. Mike, it's a very exciting day here in New Bedford. This area, as you see behind me, will soon be very busy. This is where technology, tools, and supplies will be held to build that new offshore wind farm. The pens have hit the paper. It's official. Massachusetts state leaders signed the lease to use the New Bedford Marine Commerce Terminal as the primary staging and deployment spot for the Commonwealth's first large-scale offshore wind project. This is a result, again, of many years' worth of work on the part of a lot of people who believed that this could be a big initiative and a big opportunity for the South Coast of the Commonwealth. The farm is set to be located 14 miles south of Martha's Vineyard. The company Vineyard Winds was picked to build the farm back in May. When completed, it's set to provide 800 megawatts of wind power. That's almost 6% of the state's current electric load. To get to this point is significant. The good news it will be that it'll get easier as things go on. Both Mayor Mitchell and Governor Baker echo this message. New Bedford is a great place to settle down, but Massachusetts is just getting started in moving toward cleaner energy. This is not the end of this story. In fact, this is the beginning of this story. Um, if we happen to have a second term, we're looking forward to going out to bid um, to chase another 800 megawatts on this stuff. Now, actual construction has not yet began off of Martha's Vineyard. However, this job is expected, or this project is expected to bring hundreds of jobs to New Bedford alone. Reporting live, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.